All right, welcome to Rapi Tech, and today we're going to go over how to install Jellyfin Media Server on your Windows computer using Docker containers. So let's get started. Open up a browser and let's go to the Jellyfin website. Google search, click on Jellyfin. Do not click download, you're going to click documentation. Scroll down and click on Docker. And here we got the documentation on how to do this, except there's a few things that do not work uh, in my experience. So we're going to make a few changes to this documentation um, to get this working. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pull a Jellyfin image. Copy that. Open your command prompt. Paste it in there. Hit enter. As you can see, I have already downloaded this. We can confirm by doing Docker images and we can see Jellyfin right here. You can also verify by opening the Docker app, click on images and you'll see it right over there. Let's minimize this. All right, next. You're gonna create two directories. One is called config, the other one is called cache. Um, I personally like to do this in my home directory, um, which I'm currently at. So I'm, I'm in my home directory right now. And what I'm going to do is mkdir to make directory. And I'm going to say docker jellyfin config. And then change that to cache. So now. I can go inside of Docker, inside of Jellyfin, DIR, and we can see cache and config. Now we can verify this in Windows Explorer. There we go. Rapi, Docker, Jellyfin, cache, config. These two directories can be anywhere on your computer. They don't have to be in this specific path. I just like to do it this way because I feel like it's more organized. All right. Oh, you're going to want to take notes of this path. So click on cache, select the path, and put this in your notes. Same thing for config. We're going to need this later. There we go. Next thing that you're going to want to do is locate the directory where you store your movies. So for me, it's under videos, movies, and I'm selecting this path. Copy, paste. Okay, we're done with that. Let's scroll down. Um, you do not need to do these volumes. Sk skip that. Um, skip the Docker command line interface. I think this is confusing. It's more prone to error. It's just more complicated. Skip the mounting because we're not doing volumes. We're going to do Docker Compose. Um, now, Docker Compose is a little cleaner. You're going to put all your configurations in a YAML file and then run the YAML file, which I think is a lot easier and it looks a lot nicer just looking at it. However, the example they got over here um, has a few... We're, we're going to have to make some changes to this. It's not going to work the way it is. So let's copy this and let's create a text file. We're going to paste it in here and we're going to make some changes. So version 3.5, this needs to match whatever is your version. So let's open command prompt and type in docker compose dash dash version. So docker dash compose space dash dash version. And I'm running version 2.12.1. So over here, I'm going to put 2.12. Next. For the image, we're going to add colon latest. So we're pulling the latest version of the jellyfish image. I'm going to keep the name the same. User ID, that's going to be 1000, 1000. Network node, this is not going to work if it's host. You're going to want to change this to bridge. Took me like forever to figure that one out. <laughs> um, so network mode is bridge. 
and we're also going to want to include the port numbers for Jellyfin. So hit enter. We're going to add ports, colon, enter. And it's going to be, I think it's 8096. Let's Google that. Jellyfin port numbers. 8096. So let's go back here. You're going to do 8096 colon 8096. For the volumes, we're going to update this to our path over here. So we're going to copy this. That's cache. And paste it right there. So you need it to end with colon um, backslash cache or forward slash, whatever that is. And the same thing for config. Copy. Paste. And keep this like that. Um, let's remove this second line over here. And this path is going to be the media folder where we keep your videos, your movies. For me, it's going to be Arapi Video Movies. Oops. All right, so I copy that. I put it over here. Make sure you're not, you're not, you know, uh, removing this. You need this at the end. So colon backslash media. And I would add colon RO um, so it's read only. So this way Jellyfin does not make any changes to your movies. Keep this as it is. We do not need optional. We do not need environment. Um, so just to recap, we changed the version. We added latest. We changed the user ID and a group ID. We changed that to bridge. We added the port numbers, the config path, cache path, movies path. And we're going to save this file, control S, and we want to save it in a Jellyfin directory and name this Docker Compose. Save it there. Let's go back to um, the documentation. Over here it says Docker dash compose up to run the file. We're going to add a dash D at the end of this because if you don't, um, the command prompt is going to be, basically it's going to be hanging. And if you close the command prompt, um, it's going to stop your container. So you don't want to do that. You want to run it in the background. So command prompt, you're going to do, well, let's verify the Docker compose file is in, is in there. There we go. That's the YAML file. So docker dash compose up dash D. And it's running. And we can verify by doing docker ps. There it is. We can stop it by saying docker stop and select the container ID. There you go. And you can start it again by doing docker start container ID. There you go. And you can do it from the, the interface as well. So click on containers. Here we got Jellyfin. You can just click stop, click start. If you want to delete Jellyfin, just delete the container. Simple as that. Um, I, just, I actually find this a lot easier than installing and uninstalling, uh, uninstalling Docker. I mean, Jellyfin. All right. Now let's click on um, this link over here. And there you go. Now it's open on your web browser. So click next. Change the username. Hit next. Add media library. For me, it's movies. Call it movies, add a folder. For folder, select media, because media is mapped to uh, the movies directory. All right, media, hit OK. I'm leaving all the default configs here. Some people like to check mark this. Um, if I want to make those changes, I'll come back and make those changes. But for now, leave the default. All right, 
click next english united states next allow remote connections next finish and let's log in i don't want to keep your pass um all right the arapi password sign in and there we go movies and it's already loading my movies click on movies there we go refresh and you'll see a few more loaded i don't know why i always get this i just x out of it so there you go and you can click on one of these let's click on batman play Tation, have this to. Don't worry. It's up and running. All right. Well, thank you for watching. And watch out for my next video. I'll be making another one on how to install this directly on Windows. I'll make another video on how to install um, using Portainer. Um, and then replicating all of this on a Linux server instead of Windows. So I'm going to go through all of those scenarios. All right. Thanks for watching.